Looks like I made a bomb. It's a second battery to go in the Impella. It's going in the trunk. Thought I'd give a quick tip for anyone adding spare batteries. First of all, they need to be fused on both ends. I've got the car wired with the gray solid copper 4 gauge. Don't use the aluminum stuff, especially if you're doing high current. We're working with about 200 amps of current on this one. I got here it's a battery isolator. All it is is a relay switch, a magnetic switch. It's cut on and off with the yellow wire attached to an ignition. So I'm going to go under the steering column, tap into the ignition the accessory on and off with the key. Now what that's going to allow, so the wire coming from our front battery is going to attach here. So that cuts these two batteries off from each other while the car is being parked. If you got two batteries hooked together, they're going to be fighting over the same voltage. Will cause the batteries to lose their life quicker. If you want your system to last a little longer, that's a good investment. They're about 80 bucks, almost a hundred dollars. I always put them on my installs when I do a second battery. There's another version you can get with a LED light that indicates when the voltage is low. But for the difference of that, I would rather buy an actual digital voltage meter to install on the dash somewhere to keep a actual eye on the voltage instead of kind of knowing when it's too late. So, of course, the gray wire is coming in so that our second battery is connected to the front and getting charged off the alternator while the car is being driven, running. Orange wire is going to our sub amp. Fused. I use the large A and L fuses. I used a smaller one here for the four channel amp. It's only 60 amp fuse. I got some little 8 gauge wire on that one. I decided to do the power wires different so somebody after me would kind of see what's going on. So this is ready to be secured down in the trunk and ground wire attached, lead from the front battery attached, and then our runs to each amp. We got to ground this side of the relay. The black wires are ground. We'll simply find a good flat spot on the body pan, sand the pla uh, paint away, secure that with a good screw. Fully charged battery, some more information before I get off here. Fully charged battery should sit at 12.6 volts. I think this one's a little low. I need to put it on the charger before I install it. It was right at 12. So it's not fully charged. And when you start a vehicle, the voltage should, inc should increase to 13.8 to 14.4, somewhere within that range. And it's ideal if you're doing a large stereo system to keep the voltage up while your amps are working hard. Meaning, while you have a, a large loud bass drop going on, if you can keep the voltage up above 12, 13, you're going to keep your wattage up. And it's going to sound more pure. Uh, it's going to be more efficient. So if you got lights dimming, you got voltage dropping below 10 volts, you're going to have to upgrade alternator, do spare battery, uh, all the above, and then some sometimes. Uh, any more questions? Let me know. I'll be doing a finish up video on this and the cracks on the door panel soon so should be by the end of the week so build your questions up and I'll try to answer them all on the final videos peace
Thanks for watching as always.